marching to a parade which will see these reservists assume an important new role. There are approximately 240 reserves from seven rifles and five Royal Regiment of Fusiliers. The rifles marching at their 140 paces to the minute compared to the Fusiliers on the Army standard of 120 paces. The personnel come from Swindon to East London, Newcastle and the Midlands and Manchester. Today, they'll place aside their regimental allegiances and become part of the United Nations peacekeeping force in Cyprus. So this deployment is unique in that it's 95% reservists. The only regulars involved are those of us that are permanently assigned to Army Reserve battalions anyway, or where there's niche skills that the Army Reserve simply doesn't have, medic chefs, for example. So, uh, yeah, it is, the, I think, the first and the largest pure Army Reservist uh, deployment to go and do an operation since the uh, latest round of reforms. Operation Tosca is the mission in question. Patrolling Sector 2, as it's known, part of the buffer zone between the Republic of Cyprus and the Turkish North. It'll include the Green Line through Nicosia, the capital and the only divided capital in Europe. Back in Norfolk, the all-important change of headdress. Regimental out, UN Blue in. I think it's just something different. Like it's look at like your civil life and stuff at home. You, you'd never be doing anything like this, sort of from the public order training to going out and actually living out in Cyprus and um, working out there. It's you know, I mean, it's you can't. I, I'd like to say I couldn't turn it down. Really, looking forward to it. It shows the versatility definitely of uh, that the, the reservists are, are capable as well as our regular counterparts. Last time I was a platoon, was a platoon of reservists within a regular uh, company, and they were just reservists uh, out there doing the same job. I think there's a, a lot of benefits uh, both personally and, and what I can learn uh, with the whole battalion. Um, I think financially it's a fantastic opportunity uh, but also uh, to learn about the ever-changing uh, geopolitical landscape um, and serving with you in, you don't get to do that every day. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.